A settlement agreement in the court battle over the estate of missing woman Dia Abrams is set to be heard next week. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. And I'm Jesse Pagan. The agreement calls for the estate to sell her ranch near Idlewild. Tonight, CBS 8's David Gofferton reports Abrams' boyfriend, Keith Harper, could collect half of the estate if the settlement is approved. Dia Abrams' 117-acre ranch near Idlewild along with two other properties in the area, may soon be sold if a Palm Springs probate judge approves this settlement agreement next week. The money from the sale of Abrams' estate would fund a $300,000 reward for information leading to the discovery of the missing woman's body and a conviction in the case. That is the main reason why Abrams' son says he is in favor of the settlement. I support the proposed settlement agreement because it will establish a $300,000 reward for any information leading to the arrest and conviction of those responsible for Dia's disappearance, and I'm really hopeful that it will lead to a break in the case. If the former La Jolla resident's body is not found in the next three years, the agreement calls for 50% of her liquidated estate to go to her adult children, Chrisara and Clinton Abrams. The other 50% would go to her boyfriend, Keith Harper. Harper has been living on Abrams' Bonita Vista Ranch in Mountain Center for more than two years, ever since Abrams mysteriously went missing in June of 2020, two weeks after she signed a trust agreement naming Harper as the beneficiary of her estate. Abrams' adult children filed a petition in court seeking his removal as trustee of the estate, claiming Harper was a suspect in Abrams' homicide. Harper recently launched this new website advertising the ranch as a wedding venue, and he is planning construction on the site, according to court documents. Harper is planning to make permanent changes to the real property by pouring cement for an RV park, and he has continued to unilaterally and brazenly use the ranch for his own benefit the court records claimed. All parties approved a settlement term sheet in August, but Harper's attorney died unexpectedly in September and the final settlement agreement was never signed. Now, uh, Keith Harper did not respond to a message seeking comment for this report. If that agreement is approved, a uh, a independent trustee would be put in place to immediately start selling assets off of Dia Abrams' estate. David, we know Dia Abrams used to live in La Jolla and she has not been declared deceased. So what happens if she's suddenly found alive? Well, first of all, we want to reiterate the settlement agreement has not been approved by a judge, but if it is approved, her estate would be sold off. And then at some point in the future, if she were to turn up alive, she would be entitled to all the proceeds from the sale of her estate. All right. Could get uh, complicated. Uh, we do hope for her, her safe return, but thanks for the update on that agreement, David.